What's going on guys, Bills here from Achievement Land, and I'm here with an Achievement Guide for Celeste. This game is on Xbox Game Pass, and it's actually a really easy completion. Most people already know about Assist Mode, but there's actually a cheat code you can use too, that unlocks all the levels, and it cuts down the completion time by a lot. So, I'm gonna go over this game and the achievements. Most of the achievements are actually secret, so if you need to know anything, you can go to uh, trueachievements.com, and then you can see more about the achievements and guides for them. But yeah, there's assist mode, which makes the game a lot easier. You can have infinite dashes and invincibility so you don't die. So you can put that on. And then the other thing is the cheat code, which you do in the prologue when you start the game. You can even come back here after. In the prologue, you're going to go to the left. There's a car, and you're going to put in the code left, right, L trigger, R trigger, up, up, down, left, R trigger, A. And after you put it in, you'll hear a noise, and it's going to bring you back to the main screen. And that's going to unlock all the levels. And you could just jump around to whatever level you want to. And we also unlocked the Pico 8 game, which is uh, on the main menu. You got to back out right here. We actually have to do this. This is like the hardest thing in the game, but it's really not that hard. You have to climb up 30 levels, and you can't use assist mode. And you have to do it all at one time. It's pretty easy, though. I did it in a half an hour. All right, so let's go over how you should go through this game. You have to go through and beat all the chapters. But you can actually just play the last part of a chapter. And you can beat the level and get the achievement. But you do have to go back later on and play through the chapter levels. Because uh, we need strawberries. We have to collect the majority of them. You can only omit a few of them. So we can do that later though. You don't have to get the strawberries right now. It's up to you. There's good guides on trueachievements.com. There's like picture guides that show the maps and uh, show you where they are. And you can uh, uh, see which one you're missing and jump to it and just get it. So they're really not that hard to collect. But yeah, you want to go through and just beat all the levels until you beat the game. And then after you beat the game, then you can start going through and beat all the B-sides. So you go to B-side. And for these, you can actually just go to the last part. And you can just finish it. And you get an achievement for beating the B-side on each chapter. So, go through and just complete the B-side on all of them. Not everyone has a B-side. But just go through and get them all done. After you do the B-side, then you're going to go through and do B-side again. And you're going to collect the Crystal Heart in each B-side level. So, you actually have to use a guide, find out where the Crystal Hearts are. Go through the B-side and find them. You get an achievement for getting those. So just go through all the B-sides again and get the Crystal Hearts. After you do that, then you can start going through the C-sides. The C-sides are really easy. They're really short. And if you get these yellow things at the beginning, they give you an extra heart. The assist mode doesn't start on, so you have to go to the option and put it on. Put on infinite dashes and invincibility and stuff. And then you can just dash forever and you won't die. You have to hold on things to move them sometimes by holding our trigger. But yeah, we can just dash through this level. Stand on spikes and we don't even get hurt. And this is how the whole game is. You can just dash through everything. The sea levels are really short though. And you want to carry this yellow strawberry with you the whole time because it will give you an extra strawberry and then you can admit getting one from the main story. And you just make your way through the level and then you have to crash into the yellow heart. And that's how you finish the sea level. The achievement for completing all the sea levels won't pop if you didn't do all the A and B stuff. You don't have to collect the strawberries though, you could save that for the end. That's what I did. But yeah. So now you want to go through and do all the seaside stuff. Like I said, they're very short and easy. And not all the levels have a seaside. But yeah, just go through, do all the seasides. And uh, after you're done with the seasides, all you're going to have left is the Pico Climb if you didn't do it yet. And then just collect strawberries. The Pico Climb isn't too bad. But uh, like I said, you can't use assist mode. So for this, you have to play legit. There's no assist mode. You can't do infinite dashes. There's no invincibility. Uh, when you die, you just start the floor over. 
but we have to go up 30 floors. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. I did it pretty quickly. I did it in a half an hour. After you finish, it will tell you how long you took and how many deaths you did. Um, you have to do it all in one run, though. You can't quit out and come back to where you were. It will start you back at the beginning. So just go through and try to make it up to 30 floors, and then you'll get the achievement. It really isn't too bad. There's only a couple levels that were a little tricky, and it's just because of doing, like, diagonal dashes. <laughs> So now my last achievement was for getting the strawberries, so I had to go through and collect the last ones I needed. You have to get 175 in total. As you can see, I have 172, so I'm just missing three. So you can go through the levels and you can see where you're missing strawberries, and then you can go and get them. I'm missing a couple in uh, some of these levels. So you could just go through and jump in the levels that you're missing some, and then just pick them up. And the good thing is you could just quit out of the level after you pick it up. You don't have to finish the level. So just dash around the level and get the strawberries that you need. And when you grab them, you need to go on the ground. And that will actually collect it. And once you get your last one, you'll get the achievement. And like I said, True Achievements has a really good guide. Uh, one of the guide links to a site that has uh, all the strawberries mapped out. And it's really easy to go through and get them that way. But that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to go over how easy this completion is now because of the cheat code. It really cut down the time a lot. You could probably complete this game in a few hours. And uh, shout out to Railbait for bringing attention to the code. I didn't even know about it until he said something. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to uh, let you guys know. And it's on Game Pass. If you have that, you can play it for free. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. Leave a like if it did. And I'll catch you next time here at Achievement Land. <laughs>